here's a quick helping hands, handy hints, call it what you want, tips and tricks video for the Sales thermostat. The model it is a RT500 RF. Okay, so first things first. Where do the batteries go? So this is normally hung on the wall. Okay, and to locate your batteries, you open the first flap, open the second flap, there's the batteries. If you need to change your batteries, okay, have the new ones ready in your hand. Take one out. You'll notice that there is still a display there. The memory will last for 20 seconds. Put the next one in. Put the first one in. Okay. You've now restored the power. You've recharged your 20 seconds. Take the next one out. Put your next one back in again. So you put your new batteries in. There you go. And then what you've got is you've got two batteries in and you've not lost your program. You don't have to reset it. The time is still correct. Okay. Right, so let's put this little flap back on because it's just dropped off because I've been heavy handed with it. Okay, so here's some ba basic setting tips. Obviously, uh, right, so you walk into your house and it's showing 20 degrees, that's the temperature of your house. You're too cold, for example, so you hit the up button. So you're going to change this temperature to above 20 degrees, 21. Now that is now going to send a signal to the receiver for this unit and that's going to bring your heating on. You've walked into your house and, and when the, well, sorry, just to say that when the heating comes on you'll get a flame symbol there that just shows that the signal is going to the receiver. Okay, you've walked into your house, it's 20 degrees, it's just too hot. Hit the down arrow, like that. Turn it below the current room temperature. It will turn off your heating, the radio thermostat will, will be now aiming for 18 degrees. Because your room is warm than 18, your heating is going to go off. Okay, it's as simple as that. There is a little button here, this little button should operate a light on this particular unit the light function is faulty and if you press and hold this button you'll get a snowflake flashing just there if we just make it out in the bottom corner there's a snap flashing snowflake if we now interrogate the machine by using the up and down buttons it says five degrees we've actually placed the boiler the, sorry, the thermostat into frost mode. So now you can go away on holiday, your heating will not come on at all, and then when you come back, you just take this button, press and hold it, and wait for this almost invisible snowflake to disappear. It just takes a second. Okay, so now when we press this button again, we're back to 14. So we've cleared the fault, the frost, sorry. And now we can now just turn it back up again. Okay, like that. That's 21, and the heating's going to come back on again. Yep. So that's the frost function explained, and that's the override and up and down arrows explained. And also there's a battery level indicator there that tells you how much juice you've got left in the battery. Oh, that's a better picture. Let's just see if they can get the frost to come up. There we go. So can you see the frost flashing now? In the bottom right hand corner, a little frost sign. So let's just clear that again. Because nine times out of ten, if I get a call out to say that the heating's not working, uh, normally on a Sunday evening or something, it's because that they've pressed that. Okay, so now if we open up, we've got a nice little removable flap. And just there, you may want to freeze frame this. There's some instructions. There's a model name and some, some instructions. So the basic settings for the thermostat. Okay, so I'll run you through those anyway. So what we're going to do now, obviously there's a reset button there. You can press that with a pin or a sharpened matchstick or a cocktail stick, but you should never need to do that unless there's something seriously wrong. Okay, so now we want to press the, we want to set the time, don't we? So if we, let's move the microphone a little bit. If we press set and select, the 
time something's going to flash. Okay, so now the hour's flashing. So we can change the hour, yeah? Press select, now the minutes are going to flash. So we're going to change the minutes. Press select, now the day is going to flash. We're going to change the day. Press select. We've done that already, so let's press set now. So we've now set the time, the minutes, and the day. Okay, so we now want to set the program. So we just press the set button. Press set. Days of the week are going to flash. So let's change that to Saturday to Sunday, Monday to Friday. Select. Okay. Oh, I should press select, so let's try set again now. So Monday to, Friday, Monday to Friday, select. And then we've got the first time one, first time on, that's 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., etc. Let's have 6 a.m. But we want 6.15, yep, we've got 6.20. And then we set the target temperature at 6.20, we'll have 19 degrees, yep. And then 8, you've left to work, or you might be leaving at 8.30, so we'll select 8.30. And we want the temperature to drop to drop to 15 degrees. Select. And then we've got the third one. So that's when you're coming home from work, which is 4 p.m. 21 degrees, please. 6 p.m. You want to still want 21 degrees. And the last one, number five, you're going to bed. It's 10 p.m. You want 14 degrees till the morning. Set. That's how you set the programs on a Salis. RT 500 RF. It's as simple as that. It's a very basic machine, but if you set it correctly, it will be absolutely fine. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.